On this episode of Impala Overland, I lose a fight with a swag. Good evening. Welcome to my cooking show. I feel like Martha Stewart. You nearly saw hospitalization just now. So here we are in the beautiful Capit Capit T It's something like that. Here we are in the beautiful Capit Valley. Cruise is performing very admirably. I'm about 20 minutes from getting to my destination. Look at that. It's just beautiful. Getting eaten by flies here. The Capiti Valley is the world's widest valley. So, if you're comparing it to the Grand Canyon, I guess this would be the bottom. <laughs> it's, but it's, it's stunning, you know. There's this, what would be, you know, mountain ranges, but that, that's obviously that's that's the side of the canyon, effectively. So you just look up behind me there. So, it's really a beautiful sublime and being a Monday there's no one else here oh, well there are other people but it's fairly quiet look at that just beautiful right so the flies are really annoying there's some sheep over there so that's probably why I'm getting bugged by the flies Yep, just a quick stop off, just a quick stretch my legs, and then go find the camp spot. So property owner was saying there's four portaloos around the site, one of those, <laughs> um, and you can just set up anywhere. So. I've got about a hundred acres of camping land out here. So that would be a viable camping area. All of this. All totally off grid. Well, except the, for the loo. <clears throat> Owners are just lovely people. That's a peak. That's a volcanic peak. So that, that point Right up there is a volcanic deposit from many, many, many years ago. Many years ago. So <clears throat> where I'm camping is a site by the name of uh, Canyon Country, Canyon Country Yindamura or something. I'll, I'll put it down, down, down there, have a look. It's a beautiful spot, it's a cattle farm. I'm fortunate enough that I'm the only one here. So I can show you the whole place in all its glory. So, we're making a little bit of a fire tonight. Uh, I'm camping in the swag. I nearly brought the camper trailer with me, but I decided I'd rough it again tonight. However, you would have noticed that's not a chimney. So I've stolen the I've stolen the family camp truck to do my one nighter. This spot's a little bit further from home, and. It just feels like it makes sense to have a, I don't know, larger vehicle. Plus, nothing wrong with the chimney, but it doesn't like the freeway. Especially when I've got that standing in the garage. Well, I don't have a garage if, when I've got that standing in the driveway, I guess. So, I've come with a 100 series. I 
mean technically it's up. I'm just gonna use some of these stumps. Previous people left here. There's just some bone in there. Huh. I always find it funny when I'm camping alone. I find it to be a bit of a <clears throat> find it to be a bit of a mental journey. Don't mean to get all philosophical on you now, but being alone like this does prompt one's thoughts. You, I think you go a little bit mad for one, but the serenity and the, the quiet helps you to process things. Um, we all have things we need to process. Um, and I find that doing that here in the quiet of nature, I mean, this is fairly civilized by my standards, but in the quiet of nature, it, it really makes you face your own thoughts and your, your thought processes then take on a different shape. Sometimes that's necessary. Anyway, I'm gonna make a bit of a fire now. Now I'm gonna sit and stare at that fire until it's time to make dinner, which is oh, half an hour, hour from now. One tip I have, Bic lighters. You can't get enough of them. They are unfortunately the most effective fire lighting implement you get, in my opinion. Just buy a stack of them and stash them throughout the car. All right, let's get this fire lit. So I'm going to sit back, pick that phone up, because it is both my book, my podcast player, and my recording device. And I'm going to sit and read a book for who knows how long. Enjoy the quiet, and I'll stop speaking. You may pick up some bird chatter in the background and logs falling. But that is genuinely how noisy it is here. So I'm going to kick back and re relax and enjoy that. Catch you when I make dinner. See, I need the bench space. So I will be cooking in the fire pit this evening. Yes, I'm using a serrated blade. Can you tell how organized I am? Sleep was fairly uneventful. I haven't actually slept in a swag in quite some time. I think the last time was when I made my beach video with the Jimny, which was 
what did six months ago now despite having not having a drop to drink last night I feel like I've got a hangover but I'm not complaining so look where I am oh coffee <laughs> Um, on the menu this morning, we have coffee. <laughs> oh, I'm alive. So that's a wrap. I've finished up my brekkie. <clears throat> oh. And I'm gonna pack up and head off. What do I think of Canyon Country Camping? It's a beautiful spot, really. I mean, you can just look at that aspect there behind me. It, it just, just is really, really, really a, a, a serene, beautiful spot. Now let's pack up. Here's our tip for you guys, <clears throat> particularly if you're just getting into camping. Clean up after yourself. Um, this is a private property and you want to be able to keep coming here. If you leave it messy and you leave things lying around, um, then we'll lose access to places like this where you can come and see these beautiful, beautiful sites. So um, I picked up particularly out of the fire pit a little ring fire ring there picked up a couple of bottles a piece of glass take it with you you know if you find some other people's junk junk chuck it in your bag um, the, the cleaner we leave the, the less of an impact we have on these places the more we get to use them so that's me packed up a little bit sad to be hitting the road Onwards and upwards.